Hey guys, this is Zamrin guys. So in this tutorial, we are going to create our first API and then consume it inside our Zamrin forms application. There are many ways to create APIs and then in this tutorial, we'll be creating our first API using Azure portal. You can create a new Azure account and start it for free. I have already a test account. So I'll be navigated to this type of dashboard after we sign up. This dashboard layout might be different with respect to your dashboard. We don't need to worry about that. So let's get started. Open your Visual Studio 2017 or 2019. I mean preview version of Visual Studio 2019. Here we are going to create a new project and this layout might be different with respect to your, yours. Here we are going to create ASP.NET Core Web API. So select our first ASP.NET Core Web application and then click on next. Then give your project name like my Xamarin account app API at first we are going to create APIs for our Xamarin forms application now here we'll select API and then click on OK after your project gets loaded up we'll go to properties and then inside our debug tab will unselect enable SSL and then run our first ASP.NET Core Web API project. So this API slash values are coming from the values controller. You can see over here. This is our first API that is hosted on local host. That is our internal server. Our next objective is to host our API globally so that every application can consume our API and then work with it. So let's create our first model class that is like our table models and then here we'll be creating our new class name as account. This is our first table that will be stored inside our database of Azure portal. So we'll give its property as ID username and then password. These are the three fields that are going to be stored inside our database. Okay, we got our first table created as account table. Now our next objective is to create data context class, which will take our account table and then publish it inside our database of Azure portal. Then we'll be consuming those database using Xamarin Forms applications. This data context class gets inherited from DV context. That means this DV context is defined inside our Microsoft Entity Framework core or else you can use Microsoft Entity Framework core namespace. This data context class is like our mediator which will collect all the given tables that is like in our given tutorial account is our table where we will set inside it and then this data context class will be called from our startup.cs class that is inside our given Xamarin account API project. Then we'll be connecting our given data context class with the connection strings that are defined inside our Azure portal. We'll be discussing about that topic later. At first we are going to create account table inside our given database and the variable accounts will take all its content. That's why we are going to add getter as well as setter so that it can get all the values inside the given DV class that is our account table class. Up to now, no magic has happened because we have just now created a table and then set the given table using the given variable accounts. Now our next objective is like get the database connection string from the given Azure portal and then connect with our given application. That's our main objective. That's why we are going to use SQL server that is defined inside our Microsoft.entity framework core. Now. Here we are going to take our data context class and then configure it with the given connection strings that are defined inside our Azure portal database. So we'll give a default connection and then define this default connection inside our application setting.json. We'll be inheriting that data context class from our given models folder inside our given project. Now for that default connection, in this application setting.json, we'll be connecting our given application with the Azure portal database connection strings. This is the same default connection name that I have defined inside our startup.cs. 
in this field we'll be adding our azure database connection strings that we get from the given azure portal in our next tutorial we'll be publishing our whole application with the azure and then take the given connection string from the given database that is defined inside azure before that we should create one controller there are many controllers that we can create in asp.net core project here we are going to take api controller with actions this is an easiest way to create apis taking our account table and then using our data context tv class that is placed inside our models folder with all the functionalities that are required to create api now it will throw an exception like the string argument connection string cannot be empty that means still we have not connected our given application with the given azure database connection strings that's why it was throwing exception as it was empty if we get our connection string from the azure database then our work is over that means our api will be live in our next tutorial we'll be publishing our application to azure and then take out all the connection strings that are required for our application till then thank you guys thanks for watching